I just built this super duper handy dandy saw blade rack holder thingamajig. And if you want to build one too, check out my website for a free set of plans. Now I can set up a stop block at nine inches and cut all of my horizontal pieces. This is a rough assembly of what I have going on so far. Now these top two dividers are where the saw blades are going to go. And there's many different ways to make the dividers. Uh, the method that I'm choosing is to make a bunch of dados in here that will accept some quarter inch plywood. I guess you could stop right here and leave it as is, but I want to break up some of these vertical lines a little bit. Down here at the bottom, I'm going to put a radius on the corner, and I found the center line for both of these interior cavities and made a template that is symmetrical based upon that center line. And now I can transfer this shape to my side pieces as well as all my interior dividers and give everything a nice little curve. Just remember that these bandsaw blades overlap at, at least one point in the loop and that means this half inch blade won't fit in a three quarter inch slot but that's okay because now it will. Like always if you like this project and you want to build one just like it check out my website for a free set of plans. I also have free plans for this finishing supply rack and this awesome square holder. If you're one of the millions and millions and millions of people who use Facebook like me check out my Facebook page. I post a lot of current and future project updates throughout the week. Thanks for watching guys and have a great day.